the reason to win the game is so that you can be free of it. And my questions about this are, I'll read it one more time. The reason to win the game is so that you can be free of it. I would be curious to know what game you are free of or what game you are playing so that you can be free of it. I like to think I'm free of almost all the games at this point. What are the games? All of life is games, right? You start out with the family game, you do the school game, the grades game, the getting girlfriends and boyfriends game, the getting married game, the having kids game, the the uh, making money game, the having the career game, the getting famous game, the dressing well game. You know, it's, it's so much of a social games. There are a few that are not games, like meditation, you're not doing, if you're scoring points in meditation, you're doing it wrong. Yoga, these are single player games, right? So it's really the multiplayer games are the ones that suck you in into society and into anxiety. Now, you kind of have to play them. You have two choices towards peace in your life. One is you can play these games and you can win them. And when you win them, this is the hard part, realizing you've won and stop playing new ones or setting new goals for yourself that are even higher and higher. It's like my friends who have made so much money and they continue, all they try to do is make money and they just don't seem very happy about it. It's fine if they're happy, if they're like Elon Musk seems like he's having a grand old time that's fine. But if it's making you miserable and you continue doing it and you only have one life and you kind of can't see past that, then I would argue you're playing the game too far. So there's kind of two ways out of the trap. One is not wanting something is as good as having it, right? I think it was Liad Chabot said this on Twitter. I I thought it was really good. Or there's a recent Socrates quote that I retweeted where he was taken to a, the story is he was taken to a, a, a market back in ancient Greece And it was full of luxurious and fine items. And he said, there are so many things that that I do not want, (laughs) right? And it was, (laughs) he looked at all these fineries and said, so many things here that I do not want. And I thought that is freedom. That is power. That is self-contained. That is a person who has found himself and needs nothing outside of himself. That is so inspirational. So the same way I look upon the world and I say, well, I could just say that, right? You can't just say that. If, If I just said, there are so many things that I don't want, it's not true. I want the money. I want the girl, you know, I want, the, I wanted the fame or I wouldn't have gone on podcasts and I wouldn't be on Twitter at some level. That is true. So obviously there are certain things that I want. I'm not a monk. I'm not a, uh, I'm not living in an ashram, but what I can do is I've gotten the things that I want and I'm careful not to want more. I don't want more fame. I don't want more money. Although if I get it, it's fine. It's part of the craft. It's part of the bonus, you know? So I have to be careful about what I, about not unconsciously taking on new desires. If I'm taking on a new desire, I better go fulfill that. So these are all just games that I'm playing. And, you know, you got to play some game. You're on this planet. You're alive. You might as well play something. Now, the question is, what game do you play? And how do you get out of the game so you're not just trapped playing that game forever? And one way is you choose your games very carefully. If you're a monk, you only choose very, very few games to play. Or you play no games and you live content, blissful, harmonious, peaceful. Or the other is you play the game and you win it. And then you say, I am now free of this. So what that tweet is, that tweet is the reason to play the game, sorry, the reason to win the game is to be free of it. It's a reminder to myself that for the games that I've won, it's time to let go of them and to be free of them and not to unconsciously double down by comparing myself to the Joneses and continuing to level up and level up and level up and level up. And then one day you die and then you're like, okay, that was pointless. Like, you know, I, I did all that work for what? like for nothing. So if you're not enjoying it anymore, if you've already won the game by the definition you had when you started playing the game, and one hack is to set the definition early on so that when you go past it, you know you've won, to not get trapped into playing this game forever and just living in some anxious future as opposed to actually enjoying yourself in the present, you have to know when to stop playing the game. And so to me, the reason to play these games is to win them and then you can be free of them and to see what else then that you want to do or not do, not to keep playing the same game forever. Because these games are, the adult games are very cleverly designed. You can keep playing them infinitely and they're all ups and downs and ups and downs. And I guarantee you, every time you get money, you'll be afraid you're going to lose it or you're going to compare it to the next person who has it. Or every time you get famous, now that's uh, that's a that's an image that you have to live up to. And now insults can hurt you. And now you don't have your privacy anymore, as you've written about. So all of these games have downsides. Or if you're, uh, you know, very you're good at dating, you have a lot of men or women in your life, then you're also going to have a lot of relationship trauma and you got a lot of tumultuousness, you got a lot of hurt people, you got a lot of emotional drama in your life. So you just have to kind of realize when you won the game and say, I'm done with this. 
So I would, I, w- I would aspire to be like Socrates and say, there are so many things in this world that I do not want. And I like to think that I'm kind of there for the most parts, either I don't want it or I have it. Now, of course, there's mm-hmm. a fear of losing it, which is always there, but I don't want to pick up new desires unconsciously. And I don't want to keep upgrading my lifestyle and my expectations to match my circumstances. Otherwise I'll be on this treadmill forever. We are all playing games and the key is knowing which game you are playing so you can at least attempt to consciously choose the game. Finite and Infinite Games by James Cars is an interesting read. 